Okay, I'm gonna talk about this real quick. Uh, I think I was talking about corn and soybeans and things, but all right, I miss doing that cro those crops. Uh, but the mulch hay business is no better. Uh, as guys start getting out of the grain business, you know, there's a few that have been teetering on the idea of mulch hay. And, you know, that's okay. Yay. Nice and quiet. Cool. Uh, they're teetering on the idea of doing what I do. Uh, that's great and everything. I mean, if that's what you want to do, I was going to send out a friendly warning. This job is, this job is hard. <laughs> Uh, you know, yeah, I'm driving around a fancy machine, and no, I'm not trying to discourage anybody. I'm just saying, there's more work in making hay than there is in growing grain. And I'm going to explain a little bit about that to you here in a second. Not ready to make the first quarter. Wow, everything's quiet. Okay, cool. Um, the reason I say that is because the only time you're going nuts with grain, and I mean nuts, is in the spring and in the fall and in the winter time you get to sell that crop you know it's like oh, okay i got a hundred thousand bushels of corn i'm going to sell a hundred thousand bushels of corn and then you do it right you just do it that's it i'm going to sell a hundred thousand bushels of corn okay so a hundred trucks come in and they take it away and that's the end of it you just flip a switch and goodbye wait for the check to show up in the mail unless of course oh, oh come on I just bend another knife. Uh, but, you know, you just flip a switch, and if you're, if you're equipped the way you should be in the, in the grain business, it's an auger that runs it up, and see you later, it's out the door, which is really cool. Is that a, there's a rock in there. There is. I'm pushing a little rock. Can you believe that? Anyway, uh, yeah, you push a button, and it's out the door. But the hay business, I didn't like that. I mean, you got your hands on a joystick all year long. You're running either a loader, you're running a mower, you're running the baler, you're running the truck, you're running... I have over 400 loads of hay to take. Think about that. 400. It's a little under 400. Now, well, by the time I'm done making hay this year, I will have somewhere it's around probably on the, uh, above, just above 400 loads of hay to make or to send to the mushroom barn in a 365 day period. Do you realize how many loads that is? <laughs> we're, we're doing a lot. You know, we're doing nine loads a week. I think that's about what it takes to do that. And that's what it'll be, nine loads a week, all year long, which is great. You know, it's money, it's coming in, it's going out. But there's never a break from it. I take two to three weeks off in a year, you know, but I work every day in between it. There's no Saturdays and Sundays off, you know. I know there's a lot of guys who sit behind a chair and, or in a desk or, or teachers or whatever you are, and you're like, you get to take three weeks a year off? Yeah, I can take three weeks a year off, but there's no Saturdays and Sundays for me, you know. So if you take 365 days out of the year and you take 21 days out of that, well, shit. There's how many days in a weekend, or Saturday and Sundays, in a month? Four weeks in a month? There's four months that have five weeks. So four, that's eight. There's eight days, eight days in a month that you're sitting at home doing whatever it is you have to do. Uh, I work longer hours than most people. I'm not saying I work longer hours than all people. I definitely don't work more hours than most farmers. I think I'm right there with them. Maybe I do work more hours than a lot of farmers, but I do work. Um, but when it comes to a, uh, a job that you get up and go 9 to 5 to, or 7 to 3, or whatever the hell it is you go, you're working 8 to 10 hours a day. That's it. Maximum 10. Mostly 8 hours a day. Uh, you know what? 8 hours a day, I'm just getting warmed up. You know, I mean, I got up this morning at 4 o'clock, realized I was still too sick to take that load of hay. So I posted a video. It still work. You know, it still took me a few hours to do that job. Uh, what else did I do this morning? Well, I don't know. I did stuff at home. Uh, which, you know, some people don't think is work, but it wasn't much at home. But I pretty much took off to the farm. 
Oh, took the garbage out, took that to the farm, talked to my mom and dad a little bit, and I took off. And at that point, it was 8.30 this morning that I actually started to work. I don't know what time it is now, but I guarantee you I'm not done mowing this hay until no less than 8.30 tonight. Uh, so 21 days out of the out of the year to take off and do what I want to do, uh, that's that's nothing. You do that in 8 and 8, 16, 16 and 33 months, that's 24 days. 24 days in one uh, quarter of the year. So you get four of those, you know, so four of those is 24 times four is what? Well, 24, 48, 96. It's 96 days out of the year, just say a cool 100 plus you guys get six sick days and vacation days on top of that. What are you working in a year? 180 days maybe? I'm working all but 21 days. Yeah, I'll even give it 30. Maybe 30. I'm working all those days. So, you know, don't complain about me getting to take three weeks off in the middle. And this hay business, this is, it is a son of a bitch. So, a lot of guys have bought balers and failed. Bought balers, bailed a little bit of hay, went to a mushroom barn thinking they're going to be the month to be treated like kings and queens. I got news for you. You are an asshole to them. They don't care. They're gonna, you're going to say, hey, I got 500 tons, you know, when can I bring it in? They're going to say, sorry, kid, we don't we don't buy from guys under 5,000 tons, or we don't buy from people that are under 1,000 tons, and there's, that's pretty much the norm. Anything under 1,000 tons, you're not even going to be looked at. You're not, you're not going to do it. It ain't going to happen. Uh, and if you do get one of the big boys to buy from you, you're going to get one-third, you're going to have one, two-thirds the price of what I get. That's it. You'd be better off saying, hey, Wesley, can you buy my hay? I can't get rid of it. And I'll give you the same price as what they offer you, and I'll haul it for you, and I'll make the money. So, uh, you know, just so you know, the mulch business is not, it's not all that. But anyways, I've yammered on enough, and uh, that's that. I'll just point you out the front and shut up.